Hi, Professor Prather. My name is Jeremy McCastle. I finally completed program number four. This was difficult, like you said. Actually, it was intricate. The code is complex, especially when you have to, <coughs> excuse me, especially when you have to uh, slice, resize, transform the SQL code. So let me show you what I was able to come up with in this program. And as you can see, this is the combo box. And here's the business ones, the CIT, the ET. And you can actually select these and get advisor name and email. You can display all, uh, display all the records here. And you can click on as many as you want. Scroll down and click on these and get the advisor information in the uh, multi-line text box. Now, I had to insert the uh, advisors table and as you can see I put in the EDU. I use the terminal, I can also use the, the GUI here and as you can see uh, the advisor and students table I have a Watson EDU. But when you run the program, you receive uh, some missing information. So in my code, like I said, I had to slice and uh, filter out some things. So in my get advisor, here's the SQL uh, backend code here where I'm gathering the, uh, the, uh, the advisor name and email. Um, I execute that SQL code and then it's in a tuple. So then I convert that tuple into a string. And the information I receive when I print that out, I split the U because There, there were brackets, there were parentheses. Um, so then I, I used the join to filter this information. Um, like I said, I was able to, um, let me run this again. This is the best that I could get it as far as the advisor info and you know, here's a comma here, here's a parentheses here, it is missing the U. But um, here's a radio button for the less than 2.0 uh, GPA. And then you have a button for the less than 3.0 GPA. You can add in a new student if you click that button there. And if you select, um, this does deselect all and also it resets the radio button there. Um, but yeah, so just give me some feedback as far as the, um, and see that's another thing too, like for my test here, it doesn't retrieve anything. So look over my code if you can, review it. It, this is almost 400 lines of code. It's actually three, um, yeah, 399 lines of, lines of code. But uh, this is the best that I could do. Uh, I'll just wait for your response and for my grade. Thank you, sir. And like I said, I do apologize <clears throat> because um, going from, uh, going, no, that's not the one. Going from um, going from this to this, and which is two tables. I mean, as you can see, <coughs> the uh, the progression and the the difference in the functionality. This, like I said, this took me every bit of two weeks. And I apologize. Um, I'll just wait for your response. Thank you, sir. You have a good one. Bye now.